What's up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last episode, we killed uh, Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. And uh, we got a soul. And uh, we also uh, killed Pontiff Sullivan recently. And he does have a uh, weapon, two weapons actually, that we can get from his... Uh, from his soul, one being this profane great sword, and the other one being the great sword of judgment. This one does have a uh, looks like faith. If I could uh, check it real quick, that's the faith attribute here. The book uh, intelligence. Okay, does have an intelligence requirement. I think I have nine intelligence right now, but I'd rather not uh, do that. So I think what I'm going to do with his soul is grab this sword. Uh, and then I think what we got from Aldrich. The only thing we can get from Aldrich is Life Hunt Scythe. Steal HP of foes using an illusory scythe. Pretty interesting. It is a miracle. So not bad. Uh, let's test that sword out, actually. Let's see what it's all about. That's a nice sideways sweep. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my god, yes. How long does it last? That's the, we're, this is our new sword. Sorry, Artorius. I am sorry. Uh, reinforce. At least let me get just one reinforcement. I guess is fine. Actually, let's see the damage. Let's how much damage is it doing in comparison to this? It's doing the same physical. It's just this has slightly. It's taking more off the scaling here wow 98 compared to 114 so we're not missing out on much and that fire buff is so dope this sword is so dope oh my god i'm so happy i'm playing again too i've been waiting to play all day i've just been busy with other stuff regarding my channel and just editing stuff all day and i'm just uh <laughs> oh we can give her the ashes too let's do that Stone nourishment. I hope I did. Did I give her the excre excrement covered ashes? Because those aren't fine ashes. Composite bow. Hey, it's a pretty cool weapon. Yo, they have the whole fucking, uh. Oh. Grotesque armor associated with Smo, the last knight to stand in defense of the ruined cathedral. Boasts extreme high defense and can be don donned by humans, but not without great difficulty. Wow. There's Smo. Helm of the Pitable. Pitable? Hope I'm reading that, pronouncing that right. Embrace Knight depicts the affection of the goddess Fina. Drift on a sea of isolation. Only his faith and the love of his goddess remain true, and so the knight forsook all else. The face is crafted to depict the goddess's embrace, quite ignoring the fact that her love is in fact as fickle as the weather. The helm says something different. Oh, I see how they're, they're talking about the face of the armor. That it looks like arms being wrapped around it. That's cool, though. That's cool, though. And this is Horus's set. The poor bastard. Let's give her the other uh, Easter's ashes. Now what do you sell? Oh, shit. We can get a... Uh... What was his name? Fuck. Shiva. Shiva of the East. 
Let's get a, his uh, helm. I'll bring more souls. Don't you worry about that. You worry about you. Oh, that fat roll though. Yeah, we probably are definitely fat rolling. With all this gear. This big ass sword. We def gotta be fat rolling. Uh, this weighs what? Uh, 11? Can I get something light? That's an 8.5. That'll drop us to a 44 out of 66. Um, that's really light. Okay, there we go. Can I put a helm back on? I think I might have not needed to done that. Uh, let's see. Oh. Hey, that actually works. Now we can wrap the firekeeper from Anorlando. This sword, though, is badass. What's the one-handed look like? Another sideways sweep. Perfect. That's what I like. And then we get a big overhand. The fire aspect. You know what? I might want to grab one Ashen Estus Flask. Because it's going to be worth it to... Uh... Give myself some extra focus points here and there. Do I have an undead bone shard I can burn? Nope. Okay. And then we'll put that on and we'll put Homer bones on as well. Alright, well now we got our bar all set up. So, uh,. I think the, the only thing we've got left to do now is to explore the rest of the profane capital. Because we didn't do that. I'm, I think I mentioned in the last episode that there was a small part uh, here in the Demon Ruins that we missed. Like one small branching path, but I won't go back to that just yet. Let's go back to the dungeon. To the Irithyll Dungeon. And uh, scope things out a little bit more, then we'll head down in the profane capital in search of Yorm, who uh, supposedly rules over this place. And we'll have to see what happens from there. Did I ever unlock a shortcut here? Because if I didn't, I really don't want to run through here again. Like, I never got the key for that. So that just makes me want to... Go back and look for it. Get off me. Yeah, that's how bullshit this area is. Notice how I had a health bar. I had a health bar. Oh, now I got permanent bleed and I can't roll past here. And I'm fucking stuck. Cool! I would rather have died. I don't care. That's fine with me. Right, we're not hollowing, so I'm checking. Check to make sure we're not hollowing. That is some heavy ass knockback. How do I, how do you stop that? There's got to be a way to prevent that. I have no I have no clue to what it is though. All right, 
I kind of want to... Yeah, let's just take one quick stroll. This fucking god-awful place. And, uh... See if we can't discover a few extra things. This was a little shortcut we found out of here. It's right where I came from. Don't need to be in there. Is this where he came in? Yeah, this is where we came in. So we need to go down the ladder. We need to go down the ladder. Oh shit. Oh fuck. No. Get out of the way. <laughs> Stupid cage things. Give me my health back, please. Can I have my fucking health back? Just a bit. Just a little bit of it back. That's not an illusory wall. How is that not an illusory wall? Ugly bastard. And you apparently aren't backstabbable. Oh shit, it's the squad. Bye. Sorry, people, but I don't necessarily want to be down here with you. Yeah, and then this was the, uh, this is the el fucking elevator right here. That goes down to the lower floor. So, let's go back then. Alright, now let's jump down here, not die. Cool. Not that we would have. Huh. Some, there's something interesting about this spot right here. There's something interesting. <laughs> Why is everybody here sitting in such a fashion? It really makes me curious. Like, look at these guys right here. Wait a second. Wait a second. These aren't alive, are they? They're looking over at that. I don't know what that is. A bit mesmerizing if you... <laughs> I don't know. Just looks a little bit strange out of the ordinary. Been through here. Fucking, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Stupid fucking rats. Because I am done with this fucking place. Let's go to where I should have fucking warped to originally. To the profane capital. And we'll continue from there. We've got those fucking gargoyle shits to worry about. So yeah, that will be fun, I'm sure. 
There's one right there. I'm ready to tear me fucking limb from limb. Let's take this ladder here and see what see what lies ahead. Oh boy. Oh boy. This area does not look fun. Why am I sliding down into my fucking doom? Is this my only option? Whoa! Come here, gargoyle. Star stone stone fucking shit. I'm gonna like walk off the edge here in a second. Sword is a little slow, I will I will admit that. Does have decent range. Whoa! Thanks! Cargoyle Flame Spear, cool. Uh, thanks for the covering fire down there. Really appreciate it. Probably should stop trying to kill me though. Oni Slayer Great Arrows. What is an Oni Slayer? What is an Oni? And why are people trying to slay them? All questions that need answers. I'm going to read the item description on those real quick. Large arrows used to destroy giant horned oni in an eastern land can only be used with great bows. Even the fathers of H. Crow, it is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. Hmm. You guys look like you're worshipping a wall. And nothing else. There's no, like, statue there or anything you're looking at. Or maybe you're... It's probably going to make a lot of noise when I step on the ground here. Just don't fuck me up. This thing has so much knockback. So much knockback. These look like good versions of, I mean, I guess good is hardly what these things are, but a less eviler version of the ones in the dungeon. Sit the fuck down. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck. The jump scares. Oh, you're lucky. You are lucky. Put that shit away. Fucking shield bash. Yeah, I got a I got a fucking flame weapon too, dude. Not anymore, but used to. Yo, you guys, this 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 enemy is really fucking annoying. <laughs> the fact that it can block with pretty much like hovel shield and then do that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Waiting on you. Everybody's waiting on you. 
waster of time. <laughs> I'll do that while I wait. Okay, cool. Serves you right, shitbag. Get fucked. There's a boss fight right there. Hey, that's where we came in. So this area doesn't seem like it's that big. For this, I'm just I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Oh my god, why? Where where are you fucking hiding up there in the ceiling? Just one. Look at these little goons. Look at the way they're walking. Look at that walk. What is that walk? Can't quite describe it. I think he might have, uh, hurt the, those two. Well, I guess they're... The very first moment we came through this area, they, uh, helped kill one of these things for me. Yeah. Speed is nice. If that, if that, um... Other sword was upgraded more, I'd definitely be using it, but we're on a shortage of... Titanite scales at the moment. Any more fuckers gonna drop down and join the party? If so, please do now. Before I invest any further. You guys are guarding two chests. Better be good. Oh, fuck. Thank you for fucking dying. Yep, how did I know one would be a mimic? Oh, shit. I should've just used a, uh, white salesman on one of them. They're both fucking mimics. Well, would you look at that? Double mimic. That fucking kick, though, is hilarious. Okay, what did you drop? What did you drop? Great Shield of Glory. And two rusted gold coins. I believe that's from DS1 or DS2. A great shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. Boasts the highest ability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regeneration speed. Perhaps it is glory that begets indolence. Indolence. Those are what the uh, dragon keepers were using in uh, the dragon shrine. At least the ones that had the big war hammers. That's what. That's the type of shield that they used. Immune to backstabs, apparently. That kick, though. That unintentional kick. Rusted coin. Handmaid's dagger. Those don't look like they're gonna come to life. Well, let's test out. No, and... No. Cool. However, this bridge looks a little suspicious. Like, hey, just walk to the end of this big uh, broken bridge here and there's a item waiting for you. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. What's with the rusted coins? Weird. 
Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. I love rusted coins. Nothing, nothing like increasing that young item find. I mean, I like item find just as much as the next guy. But I was expecting maybe something a little uh, epic there at the end of this little thing. Oh, item I almost missed. Another rusted coin. So am I like debating on an item drop here or something? Is there something really sweet that these enemies drop? Or maybe, for future reference, this is just a great area to get your rusted coins. And I'm guessing that's either Yorm or some other boss that we're not... Uh, well, that is like before Yorm. Because we're in the Profane Capital and the opening cutscene said that he is the ruler of the Profane Capital, which we are in. So we're like in his, we're in like his living room right now. And he's probably not happy about that. At least not that we know of. And yeah, I really hope we get a lot more Titanite scales. Because I mean, that Artorias sword and that Profane Great Sword, they're both fucking dope as hell. I really like the fire imbuement, or the uh, fire, like, uh, resin that... It, it gets put on. I think that's really cool. Uh, I like the Artorias sword just for it being Artorias the sword, but like I kind of split my resources like as far as upgrade materials go, which kind of sucks. But I hope they uh, they kind of make up for that by being a little more generous with those materials later on. Because if they did that, that would be really cool. Like, hey, uh, you know, there's a lot of cool weapons in this game, which there are. Uh, here's some extra item, you know, upgrade material. That would be, like, super cool. Um, there's an item. right there uh where is that fucker he's up there I don't think he'll aggro but I could be completely wrong okay maybe not oh man I hate looking at items that are on ledges just above you it drives me nuts. And they know it too. Like, oh, you gotta go out of your way to get that, because it's probably really good. Sometimes it isn't the greatest. Sometimes they troll you. Like, it's probably just fucking rusted coins, if anything. It's probably just them damn rusted coins again. <gasps> oh, you're coming over. Dagger, huh? There we go. Yeah, Dark Sword OP. I'm trying to mix up the weapons for you guys so it doesn't get kind of stale as, as far as what I'm using for a weapon. But this thing is just fucking wrecking everything. I tried though. I mean, like I said, if we get more upgrade materials, I'll definitely switch back. Because, I mean, it should be a slow weapon, but the trade-off is that it means it hits extremely hard. And only requires one or two hits to get the job done. Don't lead me to my death, Crystal Lizard. I hear something crawling around. What is that noise? What is that fucking noise? Ew, no! Not those things. Anything but those things.
Blooming purple moss clump. Well, I can only imagine why they gave us those. Toxic. There's some stuff up there. There's a dude right there. Alright, well, I'm going to check out this room over here. See what's in this. We got ourselves an item. More coins. And that drops down into that cesspool. Alright, perfect time to Homeward Bone. Because I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll explore the rest of the Profane Capital. And then if we have time after that, depending how long it'll take us to get through this, we will attempt that boss and uh, see who lies behind that fog gate. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, Winterkill signing out. We'll see you in the next one.